This video demonstrates how easy it is to install your water 2 by reverse osmosis system. The filters and housings are color-coded for easy install. We recommend using a sanitizer every time you change the filters. Sprayable sanitizer is available from the water 2 by website, but any food-grade sanitizer will do. Remove all the packaging from your filters before starting. Start with filter 1, the blue PP sediment filter. Place the filter inside the housing and position the O-ring as shown. Repeat the process for filter 2, the red GAC granular activated carbon filter and filter 3, the green CTO carbon block filter. Next, attach the filter housings to the main unit. Make sure to attach the housings in the correct order. Tighten with the tool provided. Make sure you don't over-tighten as this will cause the O-rings to leak. The blue filter reduces particles. The red filter removes chemicals, particularly organic chemicals, and the green filter will eliminate any color, taste or odor from your water. Next, attach the pink filter 4, the inline filter. Remove the cap from the end of the filter and connect the tubing to the filter. The yellow label filter 5 is the membrane. Remove the blue clip, disconnect the tubing and unscrew the cap. Make sure the O-ring sits correctly in the cap. Always insert the end of the membrane with the two black rings first. The position of the collar around the membrane can vary depending on the model. It may be at either end of the membrane. Push in the membrane firmly and make sure it sits securely in place. Failure to seat the membrane correctly will result in contaminated water. Screw the cap back on and tighten with the tool. Reconnect the tubing and the blue clips. Turn off your mains water before installing your reverse osmosis system. Drill a 12 mm hole where you would like the tap to be positioned. Assemble the tap washers, chrome top, black plastic spacer, and then the black rubber spacer. Place the tap into the hole. Under your countertop, place the black plastic spacer, the metal washer, and then the black nut onto the tap stem and tighten. Place the clear rubber seal onto the tap stem. Cut a suitable length of tubing and insert the end into the connector. Secure with a blue clip Push the other end of the connector directly onto the tap stem. Secure with a blue clip. Locate the faucet connection on the reverse osmosis unit. The faucet connection is color-coded with blue text. Remove the cap and connect the tubing from the tap. Secure with a blue clip. To branch off your water, you can either use the T-piece or the saddle valve provided. It's not necessary to use both. In this demonstration, we'll use the T-piece. Unscrew the cold tap hose from the mains water pipe at the joint. Connect the T-piece between the tap hose and the mains water joint. Tighten with a wrench. Connect a suitable length of tubing to the T-piece, screw on the nut and tighten with a wrench. The saddle valve clamps onto your water pipe and pierces a hole with its self-tapping screw. If you're using the saddle valve and have plastic piping, it is recommended that you pre-drill a 2mm hole in the pipe, as holes created by saddle valves in plastic piping tend to close over after time. Locate the inlet water connection on the unit, color-coded red. Remove the cap and connect the tubing. Secure with a blue clip. 
To fit the waste connection, drill a 5mm hole in the waste pipe above the waste trap. Place the seal sticker onto the pipe over the hole. Attach the waste clamp and tighten with the screwdriver. Make sure that the connection lines up with the drilled hole. Cut a suitable length of tubing. Connect a length of tubing to the waste clamp and secure with a blue clip. Locate the waste connection on your unit. It's color-coded in black text. Remove the cap and connect the tubing from the waste clamp. Secure with a blue clip. Remove the blue cap from the pressure tank and spray some disinfectant into the tank. Make sure the black washer is on before screwing the valve. Tighten hand tight. Insert a suitable length of tubing into the valve and secure with a blue clip. Locate the pressure tank connection on the unit color-coded in purple text. Remove the cap and connect the tubing from the pressure tank. Secure with a blue clip. Your unit is now fully connected. If you have a pumped unit, you will need to connect the power supply. When cutting the tubing lengths, leave extra slack to make changing filters easier. Turn on your mains water. Open the T-piece valve or the saddle valve. Then open the valve on your pressure tank. Be sure to check for leaks on all connections. We recommend checking for leaks at regular intervals until you are satisfied that there are none. Remember to keep your reverse osmosis unit in good condition by changing your 1 to 4 filters at least once per year. Membranes, filter 5, should be changed every two years. Respect all local plumbing codes when installing this equipment. Turn on your tap and let the water run for 5 minutes. The Water 2 by reverse osmosis system removes the large majority of contaminants from your water leaving you with clean drinking water. Thank you for choosing Water 2 by Water Filtration Made Easy.